We've got the most hated woman on reality TV. We're gonna smooth her out on this show, though. What does that mean? We're gonna talk and have a nice conversation. Let's have a conversation. Omarosa. Oh, no, I know how to chill. Okay. But I will not be disrespected. Okay. Time for you to look for your moment. I invited you here. Oh, I in know how to find my moment. But I understand. Wrote the book. We're going to we talk switch. about the book. All right. Well, let's get to it, Wendy. Oh, don't. Uh -uh. I want to look at it and show it to. Well, then show it to uh -uh. Kenny right here. No, Kenny has the camera right here. This is the cl up close camera. Would you like it to be seen? The book comes out in October. What did I just do? <laughs> Nothing, right? We're gonna smooth her out on this show, though. In many ways, you are the stereotypical angry black woman that 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 white America looks at us as. And I, I feel. But I would rather be ABW, angry black woman, than a buffoon. You're reinforcing stereotypes, and that's that's important for you not to do. No, I said because you don't how, know. Me. That's how. <laughs> you really don't. Now, did you have a nose job? No. It looks like you had a nose job. No. Oh, okay. No, I mean I just looked at before and after. Before and after. Before and after picture. And I would suggest a wig that doesn't sit off my head three inches. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> it's different for, for you and I. I'm an African-American woman. You get to walk around and be mediocre and you still get rewarded with things. We have to be... We have to be exceptional to get anything in this business. I don't think you have a brand. I don't think I you mean, have you anything to cupcakes. show. I cupcakes. I worked in the White House. Get a grip. You just seem quite defensive. I. No, you, you, you had to go and get fact checkers because I remember but I watching meant that, that going, but I meant it. You're not walking in your own truth. I, you are entitled. And the, you, the truth is, 10 years later, I'm still sitting here, 10 years later. I want to see you here still, this show, Bethany, a year from now. I, oh, I no. hope so. His weak spots and I exploited them. The mother of your children hates you, Pierce, and your children hate you, Pierce. They're embarrassed by you. We're it's great to that. see Amorosa again, it really is. It's good to see you. Uh, seriously, it was, yeah. it's really heartwarming to see such a delightful creature in her natural habitat. Your mama should know. I look forward to your seeing mama you. should know, Pierce. I look forward to seeing your you. Mama should know. And your remember, mama should know. Amorosa, and remember, I'm on this side this time. Who cares? Donald makes the ultimate decision. Don't get it twisted. He has not laid out a plan for issues like Black Lives Matter, um, the inner city issues, issues in the economy. How do we go from Iraq to Black Lives Matter? Stay focused, Tamara. Um, do you think the president lies often? Oh, absolutely. In fact, there was How a report. How long have you known that? There was a report that said that he lied almost 4,000 lies in the last year. Have you known that he's, he is a liar, as you say? Well, absolutely. He Why tells, did you work for him? Savannah, slow down. I'm going to ask your question. Don't worry, I'm here. I've got all the time. Yeah, no, but I'm. Yeah. So you don't have to ask 10 questions in one second. It's okay. Well, Rev, you've been saying this from the beginning that Donald Trump was dangerous, his rhetoric was dangerous, and we can see the results of that in this poll that people are actually believing his lies. And I think going into 2024, I'm really more concerned about the fact that Donald Trump hasn't come forward and talked about his health. I don't know if he will even be healthy enough to run in 2024. And I think he needs to come clean to the American people about where he is on that before deciding to get into a very stressful and strenuous race for the White House. Burger King, Wendy's, and McDonald's. We have Big Macs, we have Quarter Pounders with cheese, we have everything that I like. Please welcome the author of Unhinged Baby. No, not Unhinged Baby, but... <laughs> <laughs> unhinged. Um, as I see we, Joy, as we, I see we only have one minute left. My handsome fiancé traveled all yes. the way here from Jacksonville, Florida, Most and Americans he is in the audience. Tax Girl, I'm talking about he, my man. He, he, he is in the audience. No, 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 boo. I'm talking about my man. We're getting married. I'm so glad that he's here. He's a Democrat. I'm a Republican. We get along just fine. He may want to see his tax returns. And... Yes. See his tax returns? <laughs> Raise your hand if yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I just want to know if you're going to take his last name. Oh, oh. Of course, of course, he's my husband. I'm so, he's going to be my husband in April. And I'm so happy that he's here with me. And he brings me such joy. And I hope that you one day can find that kind of joy, joy oh. in your life. Oh. What did you do for the president? Unlike Claudia Jordan, I don't have to sleep my way to the Oh time. my gosh. Whoa! Now wait a second. Let me get a gig like that. I will put all them bitches in their place and rock well, that 
when you get one, let me know. You know why I don't have okay. it? Because okay. I don't.